so in today's video guys I'll be doing a first impression trying out new makeup sort of video <laughs> so this should be fun and interesting let's start off with the bro the first product which is a bro product it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Big Brow Pomade and I got it in the shade dark brown I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows with this thing I'm using an um, angle brush by the way okay Wow. Alright, so that is my initial impression. So I like it, I like it. Nice. So I'm not dipping it back into the product, I'm just using the excess that is already on the brush to just um, put some strokes here. So I'm here like strokes at the front. And then I'm just using the remainder to pull across the brow. And that's it. This this way more easier than using a pencil seriously and the color is fine so I went ahead and fill in the other brow then I'm just going to clean up with my concealer so the concealer isn't new so that's the reason why I didn't show it on camera but I'm just cleaning up the brow with my um, concealer brush and I'm trying to grow my brows out because they are uneven. Naturally, I have uneven eyebrows. So after cleaning my brows, I'm just going to take a spoolie and then um, comb out the product some more. For the primer my face because I'm just using my regular face primer. Now I'm going to go into my eyes. I'm going to prime my eyelid with my Pro Concealer. So this is new. I'm going to I'm going to set my eyelids with my Sasha Buttercup powder. This brand new eyeshadow palette is the Julia's Place Masquerade palette and it's the mini. It's the mini one, I didn't bother to get the big one because that's too bold. So these are the shades right here and from I saw this and opened it, I was in love. So the colors were just like, I'm a color person, I don't, I'm not really a neutral type of person. So neutral colors isn't really my go-to. I'm more of a bold color. So these are the shadows right here and pigmentation is crazy. Like when I did swatch it, that's one swipe. One swipe. One swipe. I mean like it not get any better than this. One swipe. Like seriously. Juvia's this killing it. No doubt about that. So let me just wipe up. I'm gonna do this shadow here for my transition color. I mean, look at that. <laughs> wow, I mean. was the Bur Burkina that shadow there then I'm going to take um, Fulani this shadow here Fulani how is it pronounced <laughs> I'm taking that one by the way I'm doing a halo halo look so I'm just gonna put the shadow at um, both corners and I'm, then I'm going to leave the center bare then I'll put the lighter shadow at the center so now I'm going to take Zulu, Zulu is right there, I'm just going to pack that at the outer and inner corners. And then see the excess at the crease. to be darker the corners to be darker but I'm not getting the darkest shade I need from this palette I mean like the browns are not so dark so just let me get my Morphe palette real quick deep brown shadow here from the Morphe 35 O palette all of the browns are good browns it's hard to do a look without using this palette so after that I'm gonna take um, Casablanca Casablanca is right there. I'm going to put that into the center that I left the beer. 
Just look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Um, those shadows I'm gonna take back this one here Ada or Ada don't know it's pronounced <laughs> but I'm just gonna take that and put it above all the colors that I have applied before kind of get that you know little smoky look so I hope it looks good Giza or Giza this one this one here I'm gonna take this shade here Listen guys, I can't pronounce these names but I think there are some like African names so I'm not quite sure how they are pronounced Okay guys, so I finished up um, my lashes and now for foundation I'm going to be taking this brand new foundation right here This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stain Place Foundation and the reviews on this is amazing because everybody said it's the best foundation for oily skin and it's extremely long wearing. So I have this one here and I've got it in the shade Amber Honey. So I'm excited to use this. <laughs> but before I apply my foundation, I'm going to color correct and I have a tutorial on, on how to color correct. So I'll link that up top. Okay, so I've already color corrected and now I'm going to apply my foundation. So this is it. Foundation to my finger. Then dab it onto my face. It said it's full coverage, so that's the reason why I know I'm going to love it even more. <laughs> and it doesn't have a scent, so that's great. Okay, so one um one layer was good enough. This did not cover nothing. The acne scars, so I have to go again with another layer. And so that's the reason why I need full coverage foundation because I have a lot of dark spots and acne scars, hyperpigmentation, all of that. So I need to cover every single thing. Alright, so, um, so as I can tell from my reaction guys, like this foundation, everything that they said about it, I mean in terms of the coverage, is not a lie because I have a lot of dark spots as you guys could have seen before and it cover all of them, it cover all of the dark spots that I have and don't mind the bumps and the acne breakout, but just look at the coverage though and it dries so fast. It's a matte foundation, meaning oil free. And my face feels pretty, pretty matte right now. So I'll be using this a lot more. I went ahead and applied my concealer and my setting powder. So the next product is this Inglot. The next product is the Inglot 77 Gel Eyeliner. And they say it's the blackest eyeliner. And we're going to put it to the test today. So yes, I already swatched it. So dip. It's matte and it dries quickly <laughs> and it doesn't look patchy nor anything so thumbs up to this Ingrat line eyeliner that everyone reads about so that's the end of the tutorial guys I hope you guys like the products that I use and found something new and interesting and make sure you check them out if you haven't checked them out before and I must say this Juvia Space palette right here it's highly pigmented when I tell a pigmented pigmented <laughs> and the, the eyeliner love it the pomade 
Yes, I love it because it's way easier than using a pencil. It saves a lot of time as far as I read, as far as I can see. And the contour powder, it's really really good. So I love all these new products that I have. And oh, last but not least, new bay. How about that? <laughs> so guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching my tutorials and make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.